Welcome to Qt 6 C++ GUI development for beginners. Qt is a cross-platform application development framework. It can be used to build graphical user interfaces that can run on Windows, Mac, Linux, mobile platforms like Android and iOS, and even embedded devices. This course will focus on using Qt widgets to build robust cross-platform desktop applications capable of running well on major desktop operating systems like Windows, Mac, and Linux. While Qt widgets can technically run both on mobile and embedded, it is better and less painful to use QML, another technology provided by the Qt framework. If you want to target mobile and embedded, then please check out our courses on QML and Qt Quick, because this course is not about QML or mobile or embedded, this course is about building graphical user interfaces that run on desktop platforms. I really want that to be super clear. The course assumes no prior knowledge of graphical user interface development and even provides a C++ refresher crash course for those in need of a helping hand to get up and running with C++ within the Qt environment. By the time you are done with the course, you will not only be armed with knowledge you could use to build basic to intermediate graphical user interface applications, but you will also have enough momentum to use the documentation to even learn more on your own. As with many of my other courses, I use every chance I get to show you how to use the documentation to find solutions on your own and faster. Let's take a closer look at what is covered in the course. We will start by looking at how to get our environment set up right by installing the Qt and Qt Creator on our system. We will see how to do that on Windows, Mac, and Linux. After that, we will have a crash course on C++, giving us an overview of how to work with C++ within the Qt environment. After that, we will look at memory management and look at different strategies you can use to make sure your application doesn't leak memory. We will learn about signals and slots, which is a way to connect things in Qt. For example, if you press a button, you want the code to respond in some other function. We will see how we can set up those kinds of connections. After that, we will take a good look at a bunch of Qt widgets and see how we can use them in our Qt application. We will look at QMain window, QMessage box, and a bunch of other widgets, which are going to make it really easy for you to design your graphical user interface applications. We will look at dialogues, the resource system in Qt. We will learn about a few of the styling methods available in the Qt framework. We will see how you can save and load your settings file and directories, we will learn about the model view architecture in Qt, which is a really robust and powerful way to separate concerns in your Qt applications. We will end the course by looking at some of the network programming facilities available in the Qt framework. We will use the Qt Network Access Manager class to download data from the internet, and we will do a JSON API client, and that's going to be really cool. Qt has quite a huge user base, and there are thousands of projects using it, both open source and commercial, including the one I'm using to record this video right now. If you want to build cross-platform graphical user interface applications with C++, this course is designed with the skill, patience, and depth needed to get you there as efficiently as possible. Please check out some of the preview lectures, and let's get you started building cross-platform GUI applications using C++ and Qt.